Lapet, also spelled Lafat, Lafet, Lafet, Lepet, or Letpet in English, Burmese, MLCTS, Lot HPAK, pronounced ELP, is Burmese for fermented or pickled tea. Myanmar is one of very few countries where tea is eaten as well as drunk. Its pickled tea is unique in the region, and is not only regarded as the national delicacy but plays a significant role in Burmese society. Its place in the cuisine of Myanmar is reflected by the following popular expression. Of all the fruit, the mangoes the best, of all the meat, the porks the best, and of all the leaves, lapets the best. In the West, lapet is most commonly encountered in tea leaf salad. Forms Lapet chok, hard dried tea leaves, also called a gyan giok, crude dry, are used to make green tea, yei nwe gyan. Plain crude hot water, or lapet yei gyan, plain crude tea. It is the national drink in a predominantly Buddhist country with no national drink other than the palm toddy. Acho giok, lit, sweet and dry, or black tea makes sweet tea, lapet gyo, with milk and sugar. Lapet so, means wet tea to distinguish it from dried tea and indicates pickled tea, although lapet is generally synonymous with pickled tea. Cultivation Tea is native to Myanmar, as in Bangladesh, Northeast India, Laos and China, both Camellia sinensis and Camellia assamica, and grown mainly on the hills in northern Shan state around Namson in the Palong substate of Tonpeng, but also around Mogok in Mandalay division, and Kengting in southern Shan state. Zion leaves, which make up about 80% of the harvest, are best picked in April and May before the onset of the monsoons, but they can be picked until October. Another old adage goes thus, For good lapet let the palong take their time up the hills. Over 700 square kilometers, 270 square miles of land are under tea with an annual yield of 60,000 to 70,000 tons. Of this 69.5% is green tea, 19.5% black tea and 20% pickled tea. Annual consumption runs at 52% green tea, 31% black tea and 17% pickled tea. Preparation Burmese tea leaf salad has served as two main forms. First is mainly used to serve in ceremonies and is called Ahlu Lapet, Hurf, or Mandalay Lapet. The second one is mostly served with meals and is more popular. The best tea leaves are selected for fermenting and the rest for drying. They are steamed for about 5 minutes before either drying or fermenting. Young leaves are packed into bamboo vats set in pits and pressed by heavy weights. The fermentation process is checked at intervals and the pulp may occasionally require re-steaming. A HLU lapet or mandalay lapet is served traditionally in a shallow lacquerware dish called lapet OHK with a lid and divided into small compartments. Pickled tea is laced with sesame oil in a central compartment surrounded, in their own compartments, by other ingredients namely crisp fried garlic, chickpeas, butterfly peas, Australian peas, and toasted sesame and peanuts, crushed dried shrimp, preserved shredded ginger and fried shredded coconut. A rare treat in Mandalay may be a delicacy, dried and lightly pan-fried, called twin po. A species of aquatic grub that is found only in a lake in the crater of an extinct volcano called Twindong near Maniwa. No special occasion or ceremony in Myanmar is considered complete without lapet. A HLU means alms and is synonymous with a novitiation ceremony called Shinbiu. Lapet is served in this form at Hsunj Way, offering a meal to monks and weddings. Nat spirit worship features lapet offered to the guardian spirits of forests, mountains, rivers and fields. Invitation to a shinbiu is traditionally by calling from door to door with a lapet ohk, and acceptance is indicated by its partaking, it may be served as a snack or after a meal holding center stage on table with green tea, it may be just for the family and visitors. Apart from its bittersweet and pungent taste and leafy texture, many believe in its medicinal properties as beneficial for the digestive system and controlling bile and mucus. Its stimulant effect to ward off tiredness and sleepiness is especially popular with students preparing for exams, pui goers at all night theatrical performances, and helpers at funerals who keep watch overnight. Lapet thok, her yangon lapet is pickled tea salad which is very popular all over Myanmar, especially with women. 
Some tea shops would have it on their menu as well as Burmese restaurants. It is prepared by mixing all the above ingredients without the coconut but in addition includes fresh tomatoes, garlic and green chili, sometimes shredded cabbage, and is dressed with fish sauce, sesame or peanut oil, and a squeeze of lime. Many would have lapet together with plain white rice, again a student favorite. This form is traditionally served at the end of every meal. Some of the most popular brands sold in packets include Ai Tong Lapet from Mandalay, Shui Tok from Mogok, Yuzana and Pinpyo Iwetnu from Yangon. Mixed ingredients of fried garlic, peas, peanuts and sesame have become available as HNA Pian Jia, literally twice fried, for convenience although traditionally they have been sold separately. Ai Tong has been around for over 100 years and its new recipes such as Shu Shi extra hot, and Kaya Chaini Red Cross, are quite popular. Zion Lapet is mixed with carambola, star fruit, and pickled young leaves may be cut together with coarse leaves. Many prefer Mogok Lapet as it uses only young tea leaves. In the northern Thai provinces of Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai and Mei Hong Sun, Lapet Thok can be found at restaurants where Shan ethnic food is served. In Thai, it is called Yam Miang, Yahi Miang from Shan Neng Yam. Health scandal On 12 March 2009, the Ministry of Health announced that 43 brands of Lapet including the popular brands contained a dye, Oramine O, that is not permitted for food use. This was believed to arise from wholesale dealers using cheaper chemical dyes instead of the traditional food dyes. Singapore ordered a ban on 20 brands of Lapet from Burma, including eight varieties marketed by Yuzana, which were not declared unsafe by the Burmese authorities. Businesses were hit by a dramatic drop in sales of this popular food considered indispensable at social gatherings and on special occasions. Malaysia joined the ban but not Thailand, which has a sizable Burmese population. Politics Lapet was an ancient symbolic peace offering between warring kingdoms in the history of Myanmar, and is exchanged and consumed after settling a dispute. In pre-colonial and colonial times, lapet was served after the civil court judge made a verdict, if the arbitrators ate the lapet, this signified formal acceptance of the verdict. See also Tea culture References External links Tea in Burma YouTube Eating tea in Qishangbana Qishangbana Tropical Botanical Garden Twindong Satellite Map Geonames Myanmar Lapet Thok, Pickled Green Tea in Myanmar, Lapet Thok